impeccable timing, Captain. I was about to watch the latest episode in Halcyon Helen's thrilling serial adventure. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Certainly, Captain. I was hoping you would ask. was the law forsaken parasites. I had become obsessed. My quest to stop them. To avenge my partner, Philip. And my ex-partner, Bernice. And Lieutenant Jurgen. And those two informants. Had brought me to Rizzo's distillery. But it wasn't just the triple distilled deliciousness of Rizzo Spectrum brand vodka that I found there. It was death. I made sure the Brain Eaters paid the price. But at what cost to me? Investigation must be concluded first. Captain, we have a communication coming in from one Administrator Ludovico. Get off the transmission, Cedric. We agreed to let me do the negotiating. Law be with you, friend. I am Administrator Ludovico of the famed Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. But there's no need to stand on formality. You may address me as Mr. Ah, I apologize if I've struck too familiar a tone for your tastes. Let me get right to the point. Halcyon Helen is dead. Murdered. Her death is the tragedy of our lifetime. As the face of our new product line, her murder is a stain on the Rizzo's brand. She was scheduled to unveil our newest product, Spectrum Brown, before this tragic event. But we cannot move forward with our unveiling until we apprehend the killer. You can't be serious. Halcyon Helen, greatest cultural icon of our colony, Empress of the Aether Waves. All right, Ludovico, that's enough. You don't know what you're doing. Let me handle this. Captain Hawthorne, Sublight's favorite freelancer. I'm such an admirer of your work. Cedric Kincannon, Sublight Underground. I'm so glad we're hiring a third party investigator. No one wants to see a troop of UDL guards stomping all over my hotel. Least of all me. The murder of Halcyon Helen is a heinous assault on this colony. I look forward to watching you find the miscreant responsible and drag them out of the shadows. Don't worry. You and I are going to become very close acquaintances. I run the Grand Colonial Hotel and Piraeus Spaceport. Ludovico and I are business partners, in a manner of speaking. Eridanos is our shared responsibility. Eridanos is not our shared responsibility. Eridanos is my responsibility, to which you and your organization have latched on like a parasite. Ludovico, you wound me. 
I'm establishing rapport with our new contractor. Let's not give him the impression that you can't be trusted. Do you really want to do this right now, Cedric? You want to antagonize me while I'm negotiating a contract. Because I promise you, I'll win. First sensible thing I've heard all day. Oh, uh, my apologies, Mr. Ludovico. That was unprofessional of me. Captain, I'm Constable Maria Keane. Hiring a third-party investigator was my idea. I've been studying your dossier. You're a talented diplomat. You know how to ask questions, and you have a gift for getting answers without resorting to violence. As far as I'm concerned, you're the ideal inspector for this case. I hate to admit it, but I'm a little out of my depth here. I'm used to dealing with rowdy VIPs from Byzantium, not murder. Please, Captain. I'm asking you to help us. While you're pursuing your investigation, we'll make you a guest of honor at the Grand Colonial. I encourage you to consider this offer seriously. The future of our complex may depend on your success. I'll leave you in the constable's care. Mr. Kincannon and I must have a word. Fine. Bud Rizzo's is paying for that hotel room. I can't tell you how grateful I am for your help. And even though they may not show their gratitude, I know Administrator Ludovico and Mr. Kincannon appreciate your involvement. Mr. Kincannon could lose his spaceport if board authorities took over the investigation. And if Rizzo's is forced to cancel its unveiling, we might never recover. Helen was more than popular. She gave something to this colony that no product line could ever provide. Real happiness. No one has ever been as well-known or as well-loved. Uh, outside of our courageous business leaders. I represent the law, Captain. But what's happening between Mr. Kincannon and the Administrator is... politics. Politics are not my area of expertise. The law is simple. Politics are complicated. Me? Worn out? <laughs> Perish the notion. My days are filled with catering to the oh-so-reasonable requests of Mr. Ludovico and Mr. Kincannon. What's not to like? Your words, not mine. Please don't take my lack of disagreement as anything other than fatigue. I am a content, productive, and happy member of our society. The Administrator oversees Rizzo's operations. Cedric runs the hotel and the spaceport. They're always at each other's throats. My life would be so much easier if they'd simply learned to work together. I'm pleased to hear that. From everything I've heard, you're a competent freelancer. And, at the risk of sounding impertinent, we desperately need the help of someone competent. Thank you for your time, Captain. Whenever you're ready, I've authorized the Unreliable to land at the Grand Colonial. Transmission terminated. Captain, we are now cleared to land at the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. There are several reasons why someone would hire your services. In descending order of likelihood, they are as follows. Desperation, confusion, mistaken identity, inebriation, and genuine faith in your abilities. Eridanos is a hydrogen-helium gas giant, distinguished by a well-defined ring system. The Eridanos Atmospheric Complex is a system of land masses propelled through a thin layer of the upper atmosphere, where humans are potentially capable of surviving.
now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. Another day at the cannery. Work your jaw on some spacer's chaw. Music to my ears.
were now docked at Baron Garnison's luxury landing pad. Captain, it's beautiful up here. Could we... Could we get more jobs like this one? Hello, hello, hello there. Hope your atmospheric entry wasn't too troublesome. As a guest of honor, you deserve the best in comfort. Sublight Salvage and Shipping Underground, or Slug, as we like to call ourselves, is delighted to welcome you to Eridanos. I'm the Grand Colonial Head Bellhop. I'm here to grab your bags and direct you, the Inspector, to the Grand Ballroom, which was the scene of the crime. I'll say... There's nary a soul here who wasn't a fan of hers in some respect. Just about everybody's shocked. Some people are... inconsolable. Hell, even Black Hole Birdie, Helen's bow has wandered off. Some folks think he had something to do with the murder, but... I don't believe it. I still don't understand why anyone would have it in for Ms. Helen. The fans were very upset by the weak plot contrivances in her latest offering, though that hardly seems a worthy motive. Folks get heated when it comes to serials and their actors, I suppose. Not particularly, but I think some folks were jealous of her success or otherwise viewed her as a threat. Reckon how she came about her fame didn't help. Actually, Helen didn't do anything like that. She was just so stellar in her roles, and the public liked her so much that she got a following all on her own. She ended up about as famous and high-runged as your average VP, which rubbed a lot of Byzantines the wrong way. Actors ain't supposed to get preferential treatment. I imagine the admin briefed you about Helen's part in the Spectrum Brown unveiling. Too bad about the postponement. Not so terrible as Helen's murder, but... Still a crying shame. I do. Rizzo's happened to rent out the Grand Colonial Ballroom from Slug for the unveiling. A nice mutually beneficial event. But the murder's gone and ruined that. Along with... Nine out of ten of my favorite cereals. Anyway, I think I've held you up long enough. 
Once you're ready, head down to the lobby. The ballroom is just behind the elevators. Meanwhile, I'll grab your bags. Uh, you're making fun, right? Your luggage, belongings, kit, wherever you keep what you ain't wearing. You're still giving me a pretty blank look. Suppose it's none of my business, but do you just wear the same set of clothes all the time? say that, but I still ain't seeing no bags. Know what? Never mind, it's not my business. Anyhow, I'll look for you in the grand ballroom later. Hope you can unravel this mystery, Inspector. Colonial? Is my patronage worth nothing to you? I'm sure you've spent a lot, sir, but unfortunately we can't make any exceptions. Can't make any exceptions. In Byzantium, those words would be a criminal offense. Shame we're not in Byzantium. Greetings, Inspector. No need to check in here. Your paperwork has all been processed. You should be able to find the Colonial right ahead. No, I'm sorry. We don't serve any drinks with those tiny umbrellas. This is the hotel? 
I've only ever seen a place like this in periodicals. Or that one episode of Agent Khan.